Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my review of DC animated movie, uh, Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Uh, this is a Elseworld tale. Basically, it's Gotham is set during the Victorian era. And uh, Gotham is, of course, set in the Victorian era and during the time of Jack the Ripper. And this is basically the story of Batman trying to catch <laughs> Jack the Ripper. And what they, what I love about this uh with this movie, like I said, I've been looking forward to ever since I saw the trailer for this. I've been looking forward to seeing this, and this didn't disappoint. Uh, you have Bruce Greenwood in it; he does the voice work as, as Batman, Bruce Wayne. You have Jennifer Carpenter as Selena Kyle. Uh, you have uh, uh, Anthony Head as Alfred. Yeah. You know, and what I liked about this story is that they, they, I like the way they transported the characters, certain characters, into you know the Victorian era and stuff. You have uh, you know Commissioner Gordon, of course. You have Harvey Bullock. In this, you have Alfred, of course. You have uh, uh, Hugo Strange. You have uh, Selena Kyle, Barbara Gordon, uh, Alfred Penny. You know, and then you have you have Bruce. You have uh, uh, Dick Grayson. You have uh, uh, Tim and Jason. And Jason, you know, all of that, all the Robins in this. They're in this story as well. And again, like I said, it's you know, it's set during the Victorian era, and of course, Bruce Wayne. It's a rich guy, you know, he's still the same character, but, you know, set during the Victorian era. And, of course, Selena Kyle, a.k.a. Catwoman, she's in this as well. And, of course, all these murders, these triple murders are, are happening, at, you know, and Commissioner Gordon is trying to solve it. And, of course, the Batman is also searching for this killer. And, of course, Selena Kyle, a.k.a. Catwoman, she's, of course, searching and she's trying to help, you know, the defenseless women you know, that are getting murdered. She's trying to help as well. And what I really like about this is this... You know, it's it's really violent. You know, they don't shy away from the violence in this. Of course, because it's dealing with Jack the Ripper. But I like, again, the way they successfully transported the Batman characters to this Victorian era. And, again, you see a Batman, Bruce Wayne, trying to solve these murders. It's just like he would if it was a set in modern times and stuff. Investigating clues and stuff. And, and you know, and trying to find out, actually battling the, the, you, know, the you know, Jack the Ripper to find out exactly who this killer is and to stop him. And I think they did a fantastic job with this movie. It is really uh, one of the better DC animated movies. I really, really enjoyed this a lot. Uh, again, I love the way they just transport the characters, same characteristics to the uh, Victorian era with you know with the Batman and, and Alfred and Selina Kyle, Poison Ivy. You know, you got the three Robins characters in this. You got Commissioner Gore and Harvey Bullock. I just love the way that Harvey Dent is in this as well. And the way it plays out is just... Beautiful. I mean, the animation is fantastic. Again, this Jack the Ripper character is, he's deadly. He's not just a normal psycho. He, he can battle Batman, and he really does actually give Batman a, a run for his money. And and, you know, the, and the gist of it is, you know, trying him trying to solve out, you know, who who is actually doing this and who, you know, and to stop him. And, and, and he does really good work. And, of course, you have that, that, that great relationship between, you know, Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle, Batman, you know. So, and I like the way they play that. And I think Jennifer Carpenter did a really good job as uh, Selena Kyle. I didn't, you know, I thought she was really good. And of course, Bruce Greenwood, who's played Batman before and in a few animated movies, he's really good as well. And I just love what they did with this uh, story. It just really, again, I'm a big fan of of of, this, of of Jack the Ripper stories anyway. And of course, putting Batman in it makes it perfect. And it just really, uh, really was uh, well done. And I really liked it and I'm glad that they didn't skip on the violence and stuff and and really showed through this movie and you really again uh you know I love the way uh it played out okay and it's really uh was one of the better animated movies and I definitely would give this movie and I'm gonna give this movie an eight out of ten it's one of the better DC animated movies and definitely I highly recommend it and definitely pick it up okay it's based on a graphic novel and it's, they did a really good job adapting this and I really, really enjoy this. I can't recommend it enough. An 8 out of 10 for me. Anyway, let me know what you think of Batman Gotham by Gaslight. What do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. And if you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram in the description box, as well as my other channel, Paul Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.